Hello. Today is the day that I bought Subway. Uh, no, today is one hobby, which I think technically isn't Wonder Festival, but it's arguably more exciting than anything that's going to be part of Wonder Festival. So if you're not in the know, the wonderful hobby life for you is organized primarily by a good smile company, but it features all of these other participating companies which mainly sit under that Good Smile brand. So some of this gallery will be updates on the prototypes, and some of them are just straight up announcement and concept art, so we'll see how we go. I'm sure there's a lot of exciting stuff in here, so let's get cracking. So I remember I really enjoyed this unpainted prototype last time, and I'm loving this. This looks really nice. Just from what we see here, I don't think the shading is quite up to par, but I like what it's doing, and I'm sure once we get, like, more product pictures, I'm going to like it a lot. Pecora Nendo? That's cute. Can we get a Corona Nendo? Please? Please? I don't, I don't even know who this is. Ooh, Subaru? I love her. I've seen a few clips of her. She's super cute. I like her rainbow eyes. Sakura Miko? Shirakami Fubuki? And she's getting a pop-up parade. Ooh, I like her design. I think I thought these were Ruby last time. <laughs> they, they are Hollow Live apparently. Just a whole bunch of Figmas. And I guess that's the end of VTubers, which is surprisingly short. And now we're into full simp mode for Xenoblade. <laughs> the announcement of Nia really blew me away. This is the first time I'm seeing Nia painted, which is amazing. I just really love the coloring. And now we can probably see like all of the layering in here, which is just really really nice. I'm liking her a lot right now but I'm guessing she's gonna be pretty expensive. I'm gonna guess like 24,000 yen or something. Objection! Phoenix mm. right. Do we have a uh, Edgeworth? Yeah! Check him out! I've been really getting to Ace Attorney recently so these are exciting. They've already got their pointing hands, so all they need to add for this to make it amazing is just have the objection thing as a as a acrylic stand plate thing, and it, it's amazing. It's gonna be great. Every Blackrock shooter thing is like insane. <laughs> I love this base. It's that's just such a nice sculpt in general. People interested in Blackrock shooter really seem to be spoiled for choice because it seems like every figure that exists is super extravagant and it's super nice. So that's just another one for the pile, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, Jujutsu Kaisen Nendos? This is probably hype to a lot of people. Isn't that just the main dude? I feel like this could have just been another faceplate, but I watched one whole episode. I <laughs> could be dead wrong about that. Ooh, I like this guy's glasses. More Jujutsu Kaisen Nendos? That's four. Can we go for five? What? <laughs> I don't know, but I love it. I want to see what this ends up looking like. That's so dumb, but also so great. Mona Figma from Genshin Impact. It's looking nice. Rented girlfriend Shizuru Mizuhara. It's getting a scale figure. Sure. Wow! Yes! That's cute! That's, wow, I probably should have expected this, I guess. And I was really surprised when they put Aloy in Genshin. So seeing a chibi like this, it, it already feels like at home. I really, really hope she comes with a little robot, uh, maybe one of the watches or something. I think that would be really cute. I'm happy about that. <laughs> Very happy. The Aquatope on White Sand. I have no idea who you are, but her outfit seems just very blue some random Toho thing. I like the art style, it's cute. I really haven't been keeping up with anime recently, so I don't know what Tokyo Revengers is, but I'm assuming it's popular. Since there's a couple of these Nendos. Ooh, who's Frontier Works? I guess this is a cool hyperdimension Neptunia figure. It's probably not as cool as the Ulta ones, I would imagine, but I like this. I like the colors. <laughs> Wait, the name is Siesta? These anime names are getting out of control. <laughs> This is one of the figures that Good Smile saved from Aquamarine dying, which is why it has this AQ here. I feel like this one wasn't really worth saving, but whatever. Hey, this one's cuter. I definitely like this one more, but it seems even more out of character. 
<laughs> I'm such a sucker. Uh, what? My senpai is annoying? I feel like titles of things just get stranger and stranger, but whatever. This looks like a fairly generic office anime lady. Oh, is this the Racing Miku for 2021? I think this looks, I don't know, very derivative or samey. The figure's probably fine, but yeah, I'm not feeling this year's design. What the 10 Nendos? Again, I don't really know what that is, but they're cute. I think this faceplate especially is really good. One floor scale swimsuit Utaha. I think they're doing a whole set of those. Android dolls. Black Butler. Is this the guy that uh, C-Dog VA likes to voice? <laughs> likes, likes to voice. Please notice me, senpai. No idea who this is, but I like the design. You know, Yasha Nendos? Cool. Sure. They look like... They're from Pokemon. LeBron? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I'll put my pop-up parade LeBron next to my pop-up parade Chocola. That just seems like perfect match. Oh, they go Bugs Bunny. I guess I guess that makes more sense. <laughs> um, okay, that's another Inuyasha Nendo. I don't know why they separated them with Space Jam. It's a funky looking Nendo, that's for sure. I kinda like it. He seems like he's got a lot of personality. Uh, I guess they're just doing Nendoroid dolls for, like, everyone from Demon Slayer at this point. I really don't have any faith in these sitting Nendos taking off so much, but it seems like GSE is pumping a lot of them out for very popular characters, so I may be wrong. <laughs> um, Arthur from Ghosts and Goblins? <laughs> That's another wacky pick. Surely nobody cares about this. I can only imagine as going to Bargain Bin immediately. Love Live Superstar? What? Who? Okay, so is this the new Honoka? Because it looks like the new Honoka. Tell me I'm wrong, but I know I'm right. Hachiman! <laughs> I'm kind of surprised because most of the time they don't give the protagonist a Nendo for some reason, but I'm sure there's enough people that identify with Hachiman to <laughs> buy this. China from Hitalia? Sure. I only know three characters from Princess Connect, and then she is not one of them. But that art looks nice, so I am excited to see the figure eventually. Ooh, this is cute too, but also another character I don't know. I really like her dress though, I like this gradient, I like the elf ears, I like the staff. I, and I already bought Kokoro, so I might already be in the Princess Connect Nendo trap without even knowing it yet. Oh, and they're doing a scale as well. Okay, hello. I'm gonna scroll down and this is gonna break some stuff. Figure looks fine, I guess. If you're into the show, then you'll probably like it. Fujiwara no Sai from Hikaru no Go Nendoroid. I don't know, I like the funny hat. I assume this is the main guy from the series? He doesn't have a funny hat, so I don't care about him. This isn't completely new, but I have very high expectations for what this should be, and there's no way in hell, pun not intended, that this lives up to those. I really want them to do like all of his weapons, which would be sick, but they're probably just gonna do the sword and like the very basic, basic stuff. In case you didn't already have one of the billion Shiro's that exist, Good Smile is doing another one. This one looks kind of risque around this area. I don't really like that, but uh, the rest of it's kind of cool. I like all these cards. Yeah, it's kind of in that lolly zone where they're going a bit too far. Nendoroid doll vampires, sure. This looks like it's going to be a very extravagant Nendoroid. That's a, there's a lot of parts there. Another Asuna figure, when will they learn? This looks fine if a little boring. I like the hair curly bit here, but but I'd really like to see something more interesting with Asuna at this point. Like It's just a pretty boring pose. Yuki Nendo from Sword Art Online? Did this really not exist? Really? I feel like I've seen this before. Dovakin pop-up parade? Sure, sure. I wonder if I can play Skyrim on the box. Super Crooks? What is Super Crooks? Oh, it's uh, they've got not Captain America. Oh, I guess these are the Godzilla singular point Nendos. I really like the design of these. The colors work really well. The purple and the orange is great. Like, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and they got like this, this cat bear fox thing. I don't know what sort of animal that's supposed to be. Yeah, they look pretty good. More stupid sitting Nendos. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> no, you can't be successful. It's not 
Wonder Festival without more Mikus, is it? Her hair looks like it has holes in it. It looks like goopy almost. Think I need to see this painted before I can really comment on it. It could look really good or it could just look stupid and I'm not sure yet. Oh, that's cute. Magical Mirai 2020 Winter Festival version. Seems like cinema roll themed or something. Apex. Apex Nendos? Are these Is this the first one? Watson? Okay, I completely forgot about Wraith and Lifeline. Uh, but Watson looks cute. I, I like her mouth. Uma Musume scale? Sure. Oh, I guess they're continuing with the Uma Musume Nendoroids. What's the main girl's name? Special Week? She was bargain bin for a while, I'm sure, like, but I guess they're doing more. Who is this pretty boy? I like his cat. Oh, this must be his edgy boyfriend or something. Ooh, Papyrus Sands, let's go! I don't know if I'll even get them, but uh, I like that they exist. <laughs> Amogus. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> what color do they make him? You think he'll be red? I love how they have to have this stupid support arm for the finger. I assume they'll just have like top half variants where you have like a dead one. <laughs> I can't believe this exists. Ooh, ReZero Nendos. And uh, more sitting ones. Oh, I could smile, why? Is this part of the Molkar canon? This looks terrible. Wait, are they just doing like separate fuzzy versions? I guess that makes sense, but I feel like they should have just done that from the start. This might be the first figure of Roxy that I like because Good Smile rarely misses with Nendoroids. Every scale figure I've seen of Roxy has not looked good. Hello? I don't like Minamoto no Raiko at all, but I don't know, aside from her, the figure looks cool. We're definitely in the territory of I quit the game too long ago to know whoever this is, but I like that design a lot. Surely she's just like entirely red and gold, right? Am I right? Oh yeah, we right. We right, fellas. That's gonna look good. Oh, that's cute. Fate Nando's gimme, gimme, gimme. Ooh. Oh, it's, it's Senji Muramasa and definitely not Shiro. He looks good. Nend oh my god, this name. Nendori doll, Saber Arthur, Pendragon, prototype, costume dress, white rose version. Once you have like four different qualifiers on what this thing is, you shouldn't be making it. It's too specific. Do something else. <laughs> Gudako pop up parade, that is cute. I like that. Oh, and MASH as well. I like that. Uh, Superman for some reason. Uh,. For some reason, they put Superman with D. Gray Man. <laughs> sure, that's the same thing. There's a couple of those Nendos. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Oh my god, look at President Arya. Look at him. He's so fat. Thank you, Good Smile, for saving this figure. If you don't know my history with this figure, I've done a couple of videos on her. At least two, maybe three. I don't remember at this point. I'll put a link to those up the top if you want to watch them. I hope by the end of next year I'll have her in my hands. And then finally this saga can come to an end. And that'll be, it'll be a glorious day. We've seen one of these before. I think this backplate thing is going to look very tacky. The character design and everything looks pretty sick. A 1-7 scale from the Rio's work is never done. I hate these white kimonos. They're so boring. <laughs> but the parasol is pretty nice. Disney Twisted Wonderland? By Aniplex? What is this? What is any of this? Is this Kingdom Hearts adjacent? I have no idea. What? Why announce it? I don't know what it is! Yeah, the next act mode product. I don't... What does that mean? What is... <laughs> Good smile, hello? Tell me. God, dolls. Ugh. 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 That's worse. <laughs> okay, I think Hermione's a little bit... <laughs> more of... more Molkars? Sure, let's go. Thank you for the eye bleach. Remu pop-up parade. For just like a very sort of static pose, I think that's a cool power pose they've chosen. 
I like that a lot. That one too. That's nice. Very good sculpting. Ooh, Shigaraki. Hell yeah. Hasn't this already existed? Wasn't this up for pre-order? Am I wrong? I guess I'm not. Maybe I'm thinking of the Kotobukiya ones. Carol Figma from Princess Connect. Why was this not with the other Princess Connect stuff? I'll never know. And Kokoro. She's gonna be cute. Oh yeah, it's the Ronin. Oh man. I was going off about this one last time because I thought the concept was interesting and damn, that looks really cool. Yeah, that's that's nice. I I really like that. There's a Love Lab character called Keki Tang. <laughs> Love Lab has gone too far. No, stop. No. Okay, Baki. It's sort of whiplash. <laughs> what the hell is with all of these other ones? What? Like, what? What? Who's buying this? Shimarin. Pop up parade, I love it, it's cute. Shamina Deshko, come on. Yeah! Woo. That's cute, but it's gonna be weird to display since she's looking back. Okay, that's Nadeshko's sister, she's looking cute. But a weird thing is that her glasses go on top of her hair. I don't think I've seen that before for an endo. It looks wrong. I don't know how I feel about that for now, but I'll have to wait until it's painted. Natsu Netherraid, that looks pretty good actually. Rengoku Figma, let's go, look at his stupid pant leg here, looks awful. Yuji Itadori Figma, I guess it was only a matter of time until we started seeing like alternate outfit versions of characters in Pop-Up Parade. So there's Aqua, I'm sure we'll see the other girls if they haven't already been done. For some reason a Natori Sana school uniform Pop-Up Parade, and also a scale figure, and if it's based off this artwork that's gonna be pretty insane. I really want to see how that turns out. Okada Izo scale figure. I think the pose is a little boring. Nero Bride Figma. Fate's gonna be fate, I guess. There's just so much of this. So much. Random Fella from Shimigami Tensei 3. Toka Figma from Data Live. I'm kind of surprised these didn't exist already, but I'm sure that's gonna turn out pretty cool looking. Leo Figma, which I'm also surprised isn't already out yet. And it looks like it's just doing the same thing that Nendo did, but now in Figma form. What is Blue Archive? It sounds like a gacha game. This looks like a gacha game design. I think this design is really cool, so I'm very interested to see how it turns out. Yeah, this one looks even more gacha gamey. Why another random Umamusume scale? More Umamusume, more Umamusume, more Umamusume. <laughs> Fellas really like horse girls, don't they? <laughs> hmm. This is the Max Factory Rise that I've been waiting to see painted. I thought I'd be more excited to see this because I was freaking out last time. Something about it feels off. It might be her face. Lucifer Pop-Up Parade. Apparently Helltaker is very popular. Fuzichoko Original Illustration. Nice. There's been a few of these, but I forget what the previous ones were. I, I kind of hate this base. No, I take that back. I, I really hate this base. The color just does not work at all with this figure. Disregarding the base, I think the rest of it looks amazing, especially these fish hanging around. Runko from Idolmaster. Sure, that's a weird looking figure, isn't it? Why is she sitting down like that? Why does this character look so depressed? I am concerned for their well-being. Why are they so sad? This looks fine. I think the sculpt is okay, but I'm just so burnt out on ReZero figures. I don't know, I just I just don't see the appeal in having so many. Wonderful Works is also doing this girl's frontline figure. I think the sculpt is pretty nice, just I guess depends on the colours and everything. Another Faustlander figure. Looks like an interesting design, we'll see what Wing does with it. I was just saying to someone in the comment section the other day that we'll probably see some more Sophie figures. And here's another one. Weirdly enough, it's it's by Koei Tecmo Games. I don't know who's actually producing it. I want to say it's gonna be like Good Smile, just with Koei Tecmo's branding. But yeah, looks to be just regular outfit. Seems cute. So I did that video about prize figure manufacturers getting into scale figures. I think S-Fire is Sega's premium figure brand. You know, both of these look really cool, but I'd just be cautious about it because we've seen these prize figure manufacturers go to scales, increase the price, but then the quality 
you know, isn't quite there. But like, wow, look at that. That is amazing looking. It definitely seems like they're trying to push boundaries of what they've done previously. I am tentatively hopeful for for how this brand turns out. Uh, some Aniplex ones, I guess. What is this? Castor Ultria Ascension. I thought she was supposed to be cute and happy looking. She looks very angry. This looks pretty cool. I'm slightly concerned about how these things are going to be attached, but I'll have to wait for the painted prototype to see. <laughs> of course, of course, they're doing another Jotaro. Did Jolene already get announced? I, I would assume so. Gabriel Dropout? I watched this. I watched this years ago. I forgot it existed. Why is this getting a figure? Okay, I was going to say that's a lolly looking Kurumi, but it is titled Young Kurumi Version. I will reserve judgment until I see it, but probably won't be good enough to compete with all the other Kurumis, I'd imagine. I don't get this. So uh, for anyone not in the know, this random company called Chugai Mining popped up out of nowhere, and they started making Kekai Sensen Nendoroids. I don't know why they're making Kekai Sensen Nendoroids. Like, the second scene of the anime was two or three years ago at this point. I don't know the appeal. And I don't trust them at all. It's weird. It's really sus. Really, really sus. Uh, my condolences for anyone who likes Fruits Basket because this is by Toy Tech. Uh, sorry. Uh, yikes. Ooh, that's cute. Now, is this the last one in the Wing Eurocamp series? Maybe. This is a False Lander scale figure, so I assume this is the sort of style that that other one will be in. I just wish the pose was a bit more dynamic. Like, you've got such a cool character and she's just standing here looking a bit ominous. What the hell is this? Why? Why is this? I like this rainbow skirt. I don't like anything else about that. Figma Shimarin? Does this not already exist? Rumuru Pop-Up Parade, looking nice and fresh. And Milim, of course. She looks good too, I like the sculpt. Shizu? Is this not Rimuru? I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. Madoka Pop-Up Parade, cool. I feel like that's sort of a weird design to choose for Madoka. It is what it is. I assume that's Homura next. I am correct. Of all the designs they could have chosen for these, I feel like they chose wrong. What? Wah. Long cat? They're just gonna what what are they doing? So the Sakuna Nendoroid is already up for pre-order. Are they selling the long cats separately? Are these in a pack of five long cats? What else can the long cat do? I love this. May purchase some long cats. Who's Kano? Is it a VTuber? I don't know. Is this a VTuber? I'm going to assume all of these are. Aurora from Sleeping Beauty? I feel like they've gone through most of the interesting Disney princesses at this point. We're reaching like bottom of the barrel generic princesses. And the very last figure of the One Hobby 34 gallery is Ravi from Red Pride of Eden. Kind of like this design. I'd like to see it painted first. The other scale figure I saw from the series looked really nice as well. I think it was at the end of the August video I did. So yeah, I'm kind of hopeful for that one, but we'll see when it's painted, I guess. And then there's just, like, some fire and street box things that no one cares about. So that's going to do it for One Hobby 34. There's a bunch of cool new stuff, so let me know in the comments which one you're most excited for. And stay tuned for my next Wonder Festival video, which should be in a week, assuming I've got the dates right, which should be a lot of fun as well. So thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, remember to like the video and subscribe. This has been the Ando Experience, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.